Hi, in this video, part three of my top 10 van essentials, I'm going to cover tools. Now, it's not tools like a guy would have, granted. I mean, and there's probably going to be a million that you guys can suggest that I should keep on hand. But these are what I have collected over these last year and a half, or almost two years now of being on the road. And um, it's, it's things that I've had on my wish list and have gathered because they're, they're what I need and what works for me because let's face it I'm not a mechanic I'm not going to get under the hood I'm not going to do a lot of things other than the basics and so for the basics I have this wonderful little um, chest it's not really a chest but kit for with a bunch of basic tools in it and I have my um, tape measure and stuff like that out of it in a different place in the van so that's the basics and the rest are just things that work for me a trowel for digging up rocks maybe that are in the way if I want to put a rug out or something and I don't do that very often but I found that I need a trowel for a lot of things and I have a hammer in that basic kit but I like you can tell I use this a lot it's just beat up and I don't don't care if I have to replace it every few months I like a rubber mallet because when I'm hammering down stakes or something in the ground metal on metal inevitably when I'm banging that I'll start getting nosebleeds because of my brain injury so this rubber mallet is my hammer of choice and also for limbs uh, if now if you're in a place where you are like a park or a national park or a forest or something where you're not supposed to be cutting please obey the rules but there have been a lot of times when I needed to cut limbs um, I, and also if I know it would take me forever but if I came across a path that I couldn't get out because a limb had fallen hopefully I'd be able to even if it took me a couple of days to use this I feel more secure having something that I can cut limbs with in my van and also a hatchet kind of the same reason there are a lot of places where you can legally uh, gather firewood and this comes in real handy plus I just feel really cool and badass swinging it around no I'm just kidding kind of a little bit also the same thing with this if I am going to do um, a, a campfire uh, I'm gonna do a video on how to build a campfire and when we were camped with Cindy and Brian in Sedona last year Brian took time to show me how to swing the axe and cut wood and build a really good campfire and so between that and other friends that I've learned from I'm gonna do a video on that but this axe is essential for me and then of course you've learned from from Bob and, and just about everybody that's out here that you need a shovel I've been stuck three times out here on the road and I used to have a, a one of those fold-up shovels that someone gave me but I found for me that just didn't work and now in my remodeled van I have room for things like this so I have a really nice shovel and actually got that in quartzite um, I I don't remember the name of the vendor I'll look it up and, and put it uh, on the uh, the bottom of the video for you uh, but uh, got that in quartzite and, and I highly recommend that KB tools that's it I remembered I got that at KB tools for just ten dollars so check them out if you go to Quartzite for the RTR. And then this I uh, featured on my very first video that's on this channel. I use it a lot because there's a lot of stuff when I want to clean up a campground I don't want to touch. And I uh, have used that a lot. And also in cleaning up campgrounds and maintaining my area. I also use this rake a lot. It's an extendable rake and um, I, uh, I use it a lot to just keep my area clean. So that may not be tools that you think of as tools, but they're tools that help me out here on the road. And um, if you can think of any others, I have my tent and I have my canopy poles and stuff like that in there, but those aren't essentials for me. A lot of people consider them so. Um, so there's a lot of tools that you can carry with you, a lot of different things that people keep on hand. I'd love to hear from you and hear your thoughts. These are mine. See you down the road.